Dime lo que es, dime lo que es, dime lo que es. Captain Zevin here, back at again with some more One Piece content. And today we're gonna give a little what if scenario for Wano. But before we talk about that, please hit that like button, comment after the video, hit that subscribe button, and share the video to any of your One Piece pals or anime friends, you know, help get the word out there. But Without further ado, let's get into what if Joker was in Wano. So, there was a take that Oda said, I forget if it was in an S, it might have been in an SBS or an interview, but Dofi was supposed to be in Wano and be in this whole, in the whole raid and the fight right now. And that idea changed. Obviously, because we have the whole Dress Rosa arc. But can you imagine if Dofi was added into, to, into the mix of the chaos that we have right now? We have Kaido, Big Mom, Peros Peril, the All-Stars. We have Drake, Hawkins, Killer, Kid, Law, Luffy's crew. The, there are so many heads here. And now the world government's about to get involved. And who knows if any other Yonko are on transit to Wano. It's crazy. So, Adolfi's a beast. He is so strong. And I would say he sits somewhere between the All-Stars and the Toby Robo. I feel like Adolfi's somewhere in that, in that range. Which is really, really good. And with that being the case, you know, some you got to ask yourself, who would be his fight? Because right now, Law, back in Dress Rosa, it was, it was a kind of even fight. But with Law on the back foot, to the point that, you know, he loses to Dofi. Yet, the Law that we have now... So many people are, are saying that no, that this new law beats Dofi. I mean, he's gotten a he's powered up, and whether it's from experience or whatever the case may be, Law is stronger now than when he was in Dress Rosa, significantly so. And I mean, if he can freaking do damage to Kaido, that that says a lot. Is for your armament hockey, so it, it's kind of it gets kind of confusing because the whole point to Jess Rosa was that was Law closing the curtains on that on on the whole revenge thing and making it up to Corazon. But if Dofi lived, or we didn't get the Dress Rosa arc the way we did, and Dofi showed up here. Does that mean that um, Law has to f take care of that in Wano and take care of that before getting to the rooftop? Or does Just Rosa happen and Jack succeeds in rescuing Dofi and that's how we find out that Dofi's there and even though Dofi's there, it's not Law's business anymore because he already did what he wanted to do and now Dofi's finding someone else. Who would that someone else be? Would it be a scabbard? Would it be Jimbe? Because we know that we always knew that Inu and Neku had to deal with Jack. Like that's what we knew was gonna happen. And we also knew that Zoro and Sanji were going to take on the one and two of the Beast Pirates, which ends up being Queen and King. So that puts Dofi next in line. You know, before who's who. And, you know, the rest of the Straw Hats handled the Tobi, the Tobi Ropo. So if Jimbe fights Dofi instead, then who fights who's who? It, it, you know, it it's confusing where these matchups would have ended up, and it's it's interesting because you can make the argument it would make sense if Dofi was here, 
But at the same time, it's really good that he's not because all the pieces seem to be flowing in a certain way that everything makes sense right now. Then there's the, you can pose the question too, would Dofi have done Birdcage? I would say, you know, I would argue, no, he wouldn't have done Birdcage. Because then he has the chance of pissing off Kaido and he's thinking, I'm not going to piss him off. I, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> so Birdcage, you know, if he was, if Birdcage was shown in Dress Rosa and then we still get him over here, it may, you know, you wouldn't really expect Birdcage again, but you knew it was a possibility. But if he never did Birdcage, would we have ever seen it? That's one thing. That's another take to consider. And then there's the timing as well. Because right now in Wano, this is in the raid. This is after the world government, the reverie happened and the world government abolished the warlord system. And they all went to go take down all the warlords. Let's say Dofi did, was, let's say he was, whether he was rescued or whether just Rosa didn't happen, he's in Wano. Well, that means that the Marines have to go to Wano to get Dofi, which means they have to get involved with this war. And we would have got, and we probably would have gotten the Marines heavily involved in this so it wouldn't just be the world government we would actually have a good chunk of marines coming for the reason of dofi but because that it involves a yonko and especially because everyone knows there's two yonko there and the worst gen in there they're probably thinking we gotta send half our freaking fleet for this that, do you know how crazy that would be? Imagine if they did that and sent like two admirals. That would be crazy. Granted, we don't know if there's an admiral on the way right now either. It's it's just so spicy right now. We just don't know what's coming. But if Dofi was there, it would have added some more spice to that, you know? Dofi was a really, really interesting interesting character and even now there are so many things that are happening and you can always tie it back over to Dofi and what he may think or may say about a certain topic so right now we're getting lore more background lore from things that who said things that CP0 have said and one can see why they really couldn't mess around with Joker too much because depending what that national treasure is and seeing what we saw during the Reverie arc with the giant frozen straw hat, what if that is the leverage that Dofi's had this whole time? But what we're dealing with is... And... If that's the leverage that he's had, and why CP0 and the world and the celestial drag is just had to do whatever he said to keep him quiet about that. Imagine him here giving this kind of info to Kaido. Giving him more of a direct, like, hey, let's go for this once we get some of these ancient weapons. And they wanted to make the biggest, baddest war that the world's ever seen. I think we haven't seen the last of Dofi. I feel that he gets out of prison, but what his role in the story becomes is questionable. It's just, there's so much to him, like Crocodile. We know he's gonna make a comeback, and he was still significant so many chapters later in the story. We knew it felt kinda like short for crocodile's time and I, that's the same way i feel about dofi that it's still it was cut short 
and there's still a big role for him to play, and we're going to see what that is. And if Oda chose that role not to be at Wano, what is it going to be? Or does Dofi just stay as a spectator and just watches everything and reads the newspaper and is simply a laughing in jail ready for the whole world to go upside down regardless it is gonna be a blast when he makes his return and without further ado hit that like button comment on some takes that you think Dofi would have done if he was in Wano. Hit that subscribe button, share it with all your friends, and I will catch you on the next video. Captain Zevin, out.